So, yeah, let's see. So the workshop's done. I hope that you've all learned a lot, but um, you probably have noticed that what we talk now is more of a starting point than the ending point in what you do. So all the material will stay available. So the main list is always findable here that will be updated to the current locations. Everything is open source and will continue to be updated as we give workshops. And really this whole workshop is teaching about how the lessons are made. So if you want to do anything to, um, to contribute, well, now you know how to. Let me think of a big thank you to everyone, especially the exercise leaders. So this was the first time we tried a live stream workshop with exercise leaders. Um, like first time we tried a live stream workshop with so much effort put into the um, individual exercise rooms in Zoom. And really, this is this was a bit difficult this time, but we'll try to make it better later. We'd also like to thank all the instructors you've seen. There have been multiple other helpers that have been around that have been answering things in HackMD that you might not even know about. Um, we can't forget them. And also everyone for attending. So if you are not listed on the workshop webpage and you would like to be, please send a pull request so we can make sure that you get added there. So we would like feedback in HackMD. So you may have noticed it's already being collected here. Please, well, go comment here, especially the comments about the workshop in general, which are down here. We'd really like to see how, see what you think of our st strategies. Okay, uh, yeah. There is practical matters. So if you'd like a certificate, please see the instructions on the course webpage. It depends on what your location is, who you would request that from. And I think there's not any need to go repeating it here. So Code Refinery has a GitLab service. So if you need something which is more private and self-managed than GitHub, but also not limited to a single institution, this uh, repository source.coderefinery.org is usable by anyone in the Nordics. So there's a very particular kind of projects where this is useful. Mm, let's see. Yeah, and you can find information from either, I think the main page here or the Code Refinery webpage. So finally, we'd like everyone to help Code Refinery. So a lot of people have made this possible, but Code Refinery isn't just us versus the attendees. So we hope that everyone that's attended might, or a lot of the people who are attended might be inspired to help us do these workshops in the future. So even just telling people about us is extremely useful. Please, well, however, however you may be able to. If you can come back as an exercise leader, so especially this is good when you would get your other colleagues, friends, research group interested, and you can come back as their exercise leader, and then you work together for the next workshop. This is something that is like the main thing we're trying to promote in the future. Maybe not main, but one of the most important things. There's other ways to join Code Refinery. So I think this workshop has been very good, but of course it's not perfect. There's a lot to be improved. And the best way to do that is to have more people helping out. So if you'd like to get involved, there's different ways. Actually, this notify me form is useful for exercise leaders also, but if you'd like other ways to get involved, you can request notifications there. Um, all of our information about how we run the workshop is open here. You might not be surprised to know that this is made with GitHub, pull request, uh, read the docs, or yeah, no, Spinks, GitHub Actions, everything you've learned today. Feel free to send any improvements and changes to the material, of course. Uh, also, you can join either individually or as part of your organization. So as an individual, you can teach, you can be a helper, you can contribute to material, even hanging around on our chat and giving us advice when we have questions would be really useful. Um, this is the best way to start teaching. 
I guess one unique thing about Cold Refinery is it's actually easier to start off by being an instructor than most of the other jobs because of the way we have co-teaching here. As an organizational partner, you can do things like run in-person breakout rooms for your own institution or, you know, run your own Zoom meeting or organize teams for your research group advertise us. There's so many different options here. And because we're live streamed, it's so easy for anyone to get involved and to help spread the word. We're basically not limited by the number of people that can watch us. If you want to know more, you can join our meetings in Code Refinery. So actually next Monday at, well, sometime, the website will say it. And also we're all in different time zones here. There's a community call. So in this, um, in this meeting, we sort of like, well, look at the big picture of things. So that's the good place to attend if you want to get involved. If you want to know more about what we do, every Monday there is a team meeting at the same time as the community call. Um, yeah, I think I've already mentioned the Code Refinery chat. Please just join if you're interested. Introduce yourself in the new member stream and then um, let us know. Okay. So there's many different partners that made this possible. So I guess you can read here, there's Alta University, um, SNCC, EN, CCS, CSC in Finland, and the Norwegian Re Research Infrastructure Services. These are the code refinery partners that have provided something for here. So they have all kinds of different ways for like different help sessions, trainings, other things like that. Since I'm from Alto, I'll take the privilege and advertise our daily garage, which is basically a help session every day where you can go and ask us basically any questions about computational research and things like this, and our research software engineer service, which can provide extra mentoring for these kinds of projects, or even will help do them with you. We have some upcoming courses we might want to highlight. So from Alto, we have a scientific computing and HPC kickstart in uh, early June. And this course will also be live streamed. So if anyone would like to get involved like this course, so basically like run your own local breakout rooms, be a like present some things like that, you can get involved there. And if you want to see my cat more, this is in the afternoon, so my cat's more active in coming by and saying hi. So definitely do that. Like in, for this course, my real goal is that like more institutions can get involved. So basically run these other breakout rooms and things like that. So if you want to do that, then, well, let us know or let me know. Okay, there is more, I guess, you can read as well as I can talk here. So many of these are supposed to be open to people regardless of where you are, but I'm not sure if that's the exact um, list here. There's also, if you look at the links up above, you see more courses there. So what are the kind of people that are um, specialized in these kinds of skills we're learning today. They're called research software engineers. So it's basically a researcher, but someone that's slightly more focused on the, like the technology and the computing and things like that behind the research. So if you um, really feel connected to the kind of things we've been teaching before here, you might want to join Nordic RSC, which actually would be great if the URL was here. Well, I guess it's here. So we have uh, weekly coffee chats meetings. We're trying to organize an unconference in August. But anyway, please check this out if you would like to get more involved in this kind of like technology focused research. Finally is Research Software Hour, which actually hasn't happened for many months now, but we'd like to restart. So it's also a live stream kind of thing where we go into um, like, more we go into some of these kinds of topics but in more detail we wanted to use this to give some more demos about the things we've done in this workshop so hopefully we'll restart it soon um you can well i guess the schedule will be included 
it'll be announced through Code Refinery somehow. We'll add it to the Code Refinery calendars if you subscribe if you subscribe to that. Uh, but if you want it to act to actually happen, you can also like come and join us, give us ideas, and really prod us into making it happen. So with that said, that's the outro. Uh, yes, let's go check the feedback and see what people have been saying. Um, yeah, well, I guess we can read this later. We're sort of running out of time to go into much detail. One idea we had is to have an after party. So we could paste the Zoom, um, the, well, I don't know, are we pasting the instructor or learner Zoom? And basically anyone, even the people watching the live stream, can join a Zoom meeting with us and we can sort of talk all among the instructors and things like that. Maybe maybe the learner Zoom because then it's a little bit clearer that nothing is recorded streamed. Okay. I will yeah. I will paste the link on the bottom of the hack and B. Okay. Great. So yeah. Um, well, I hope you all have enjoyed this course as much as the instructors and us have. Uh, I mean, I think there's nothing better than putting on some really big um, event like this with so many uh, really enthusiastic people working together on it. I mean, nothing, hardly anything compared to that. And yeah, I can just, well, I can just end by saying, I really hope that you all can join us in the future, either as an exercise leader or helper or instructor or whatever. Okay. Any other comments from the people in the instructor room? No, just adding that really thanks so much for helping. Uh, I know that there was a lot to optimize in terms of exercise groups and rooms and many lessons learned and we will improve for the future. So thanks so much for your patience and flexibility. Yeah. And especially, well, I'm curious in feedback on the live stream format. I think yeah. it's great, but we will see how to improve yeah. it. And big thanks to Richard too for keeping this stream and recording and mm -hmm. alive, plus so much more yeah. on chat and keeping everybody here. Thanks to my keeping computer going. for not crashing during it. Yeah. Anyway, yes. OK, well, maybe we can stop talking for now and join Zoom. So I'll leave the stream running here uh, with the link here and see you there. Bye. See you there. Thanks so much. Bye.